Welcome to the explanation of the second workflow in the Algebra Study Buddy bot, Find an Answer. Here you can see the entire workflow. We will explore this node by node and see how it works. Please keep in mind we will be using variables from the previous video titled, Ask a Question. Let's discuss the first node in the workflow. It should be mentioned that the knowledge base answering is enabled. Let's look at the query the knowledge base card to get started with the query KB node. The important takeaway from this is that we are passing the user's input through the knowledge base by calling the value of variable user.quest. It should be noted that the brackets and color of the variable being called are both important. The brackets are required to call a variable here where in some cases there will be an arrow base sign in the right hand side of the input area of different cards. The green indicates that the variable has a value. Finally, it is important to mention that the answer returned from the knowledge base will be stored in variable user.answer. Next we prompt an AI generate text card with the answer from the knowledge base to have AI rewrite the information as directed. The answer from this step is stored in variable user.aikb improved. The final pieces of the query KB node are two expressions that define the path of the flow based on the knowledge base receiving an answer or not. To test for this the first expression is user.answer.greater than zero. The next is followed if the knowledge base does not respond. I let the AI do the hard work by typing the label in with the AI enabled. Here is how the prompt is set up to send the original user's question to AI to get an answer. Following the rest of the AI path the answer stored in user.ai answer is displayed in node standard 6. Then it will go to node standard 4. There the original query, and either the AI answer or the knowledge base answer are stored on the table based on which one received an answer. Following the rest of the AI path the answer stored in user.ai answer is displayed in node standard 6. Then it will go to node standard 4. There the original query, and either the AI answer or the knowledge base answer are stored on the table based on which one received an answer. The final card is an execute code card that resets the value of all the user variables. Whether the workflow repeats or not. Stepping back to the query KB, assuming the knowledge base did return a value the next node would be standard 1 which has a text card that displays variable user.aikb improves value to the user. Then the flow moves to standard 4 and everything is the same as with the AI answer. The answer the knowledge base provided is stored on the table with the user's question. The user is asked if they would like to ask something else, and they either exit RPT or not. The user variables will all be reset. 